They sprinting away from the 1,000 meter mark, a little gambler slow to go. Fortissimus is off and running near the rail, Blue Heron. Red cap of Winnie's Arb on the outside, Plume del Toro. Then comes Phantom Rock with the white cap and then Caster Cat. And Lil Gambler's the trailer, about six lengths off the leader. Fortissimus continues to lead it. On the outside, Plume del Toro. Then comes Blue Heron. Winnie's Arbor's with the red cap. Further back in the run, Caster Cat. And on the outside, Phantom Rock. Top of the lane, Fortissimus the leader. Plume del Toro is the yellow sleeves and cap. Caster Cat goes in. Blue Heron's on the inside. Then comes Winnie's Arb. Getting to the last 300. Fortissimus the leader. Plume del Toro is going to try and put on the pressure. Winnie's Arb on the outside. Phantom Rock. And it's Fortissimus still in front. Fortissimus over the last 100 from Plume del Toro. But Fortissimus will win. Fortissimus, Plume del Toro second. Lil Gambler ran third. And Winnie's Arb ran into the fourth position. Number three, Fortissimus is victorious. This the daughter of McGark, Anton Marcus. And this one for Robbie Hill for Mr. N. Nell, Lennington and Sons bred. She hopped away smartly. As I recall, first time out, Anton gave her a good warm-up on the way to the start. He took her down very calmly on this occasion, and she wins it by about two lengths. Plume del Toro looked very well on the way to the gate, ran second. Lil Gambler got left at the start as third. Winnie's Arb runs into fourth. Further back is Blue Heron, and then came Caster Cads. We'll take a look at that head on shortly, and in the middle of your picture, the red cap still under the hands for Tissimus, and the stick goes into the right hand, and then you'll see Anthony changes it now to his left hand, and for Tissimus, she continues to roll, second time at the track, and she is victorious. Until the running of the second race, note that there is a pick six mega pool of uh, 100,000 rand, the estimate 1.1 million, and the pick six starts in the second race. Back to the studio. I was just chatting to Shannon Hill off air. It can be an easy game if you've got the stock and the horses, uh, as it's proved here in race number one. Fortissimus, the daughter of Magog, uh, she looks above average. Uh, I know she hasn't beaten much all first time as barring one runner, but the fact is that she's confirmed the improvement shown last time out. And I was just listening to the feedback from Anton as well, Shannon, that maybe better on the turf. Yeah, these, um, Anton said she felt better last time out. Um, I think she will be better on the grass. But, you know, thanks to Anton, he's put in a bit of work with us fully and his feedback, it's, it's appreciated. Just want to say a big thank you to Noel and Angel in Joburg. I know they're watching, so I hope this puts a smile on Noel's face. Um, and I think we've got a, an above average filly here, you know. Looks that way, because first time out, uh, that uh, horse that beat her uh, is rated a bit by the rights. Yeah, look, uh, I, I do hear that as well. Um, she's shown only good things back at home, so... Thank God she's got the win under the belt now, and now we'll just give her a little bit of a breather and, and see where we go from there. Whilst we've got time, just a one-runner today, congratulations. Give our best to your dad as well. How's the babies looking? you got a few on the ground? Yeah, Adi's uh, got quite a nice crop of babies this, this year, so um, got a nice cold running on Sunday, so we'll see what happens there, but it's looking positive. Well, your weekend has started off on a bang, and uh, you can go and put your feet up and hope that the Proteus can bowl the West Indies out. Yeah, look, I think that's going to be a tougher challenge. Um, but, you know, we'll be behind them. And just like to wish everybody a happy Easter and hope everybody has a good weekend. Thanks for that, Shannon. Thanks, Dees. Well done, Shannon Hill. Now, let me uh, tell you that Anton has kindly excused himself, but uh, he never leaves without giving a comment on his runners to come. He says, Big King in the next. I've got an each-way chance, of course, back on the poly track. He says, uh, Nantius, uh, uh, recently gelded, but he does like him this evening. And then Italian Mist, he says that uh, he's hoping uh, uh, the filly can confirm the improvements on last time out. And in a week, he's field, he does give her an each-way chance. He's got some nice rides, and he, he sounded a bit confident uh, uh, with a horse like uh, Nantius, uh, which comes up in race number three. We thank him for those comments. If you got the quartet, race number one, three, six, four, and seven, that's the way they cross the line. Coming up next, 
will be the start of the pick six at 1900 hours, which is seven o'clock.